Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, my beautiful Aries. By the time you reach this video, I hope you all are staying safe. I love you guys. I absolutely love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your likes and your comments. Okay, thank you so much for your warm, warm energy. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Listen, I need you to reverse the roles. I don't know your life, okay? So I need you to reverse the roles. Remember, there are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, okay? So we're going to get started. So if you don't mind, Aries, okay? When you finish watching the video, could you please, I need you to put a yellow heart in the comments, all right? Um... I need you to put a yellow comment, a yellow, you know, emotion, heart, yellow heart in the comment if you don't mind. So let's get started. Let's see what's in your energy. Divine universe, as you come into this reading, give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your divine protection. This is for Aries. Let's see what's going on with you, Aries. Okay, Aries, you worried about something, something you worried about, you confused about something. Something's definitely on your mind. Uh, Spirit God say you need to clear your energy. Yeah, I see that you're worried, you're confused, some of you. If this doesn't resonate, this is not, a, this is not for you. Um, and Spirit God say you need to clear your energy, okay? When you clear your energy, you, you will become clear, uh, okay? You will know the direction that you're headed to, okay? Some of you don't know wh which way to go. Some of you uh, could be at a crossroads. Some of you are trying to figure out and you worried and confused about the direction you should go in. And uh, Spirit Guides is saying when you clear your energy with Palacente, Sage, or even just taking an Epsom salt bath, you know, uh, clearing off some of the energy that's, you know, that's causing a lot of confusion. Uh, 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 um, you being in your head a lot in the direction you want to go in. You will get some clear, you know, clear um also, you will get, some of you could be trying to manifest something. You're trying to manifest something in your life. And um, in order for you to, yeah, you're trying to, you're trying to definitely connect to the divine. You're definitely trying to connect and manifest to the divine which direction you should go in. And Spirit Guides is saying, once you clear your energy, that means you're clearing your consciousness so that you can uh, be in tune, uh, uh, listen to your inner self, listen to that, you know, that small, still voice to give you directions, okay? So let's see what else is in your reading, okay? Aries Spirit, guys, this is for Aries. Thank you. Courage, strength is here. It says, I, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, okay? So it's definitely something that's on your mind. Something is bothering you, and but you're learning how to fight it, okay? Or you get a clear vision on how to fight this situation that you're confused about, all right? Um, and uh, But you're definitely worried, but you definitely have confidence, you have strength. You have strength, okay, uh, to face whatever this is, to face whatever this challenge, whatever this fear may be that you're that you're worried about or that you're confused about, okay, um, and um, you're definitely trying to manifest to the divine universe, whoever your higher source is. You've been trying to manifest which direction to go. Spirit guys, tell me more for Aries. Thank you. Honesty, okay? Honesty is your card. Um, it says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself, okay? Just be true and real to yourself when it comes down to whatever, whatever this is is causing you confusion or worry. Be true to yourself, baby. Sweetheart, sir, I don't know who you are. Be be, be true to who you are, okay? You, you are your own best friend. Okay, you are your own. You are you. You are who you are. So um, you can't expect other people to be um, truthful to you, but you can definitely be, you know, you recognize your own self, you know, be true and honest. You have freedom here, which landed right on the direction card, which is telling me that you you ready for your freedom. You're ready to live. You're ready to get outside of whatever this circle is or if this is a connection, if this is a job. But you're definitely ready for your freedom, okay? It says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So, yeah, 
definitely you trying to figure out which direction to go in when it comes down to your happiness, down to uh, what makes you happy, down to fulfilling your life, manifesting some beautiful things in your life. That is what matter. You matter. Okay. It's not about nobody else, but uh, it's about you. It's about what you're happy, what you're trying to create into your life. You know, yeah, your own creation, your own reality. This is your story. Okay. And so you're ready for some freedom <clears throat> and you are being true. You realize and with this honesty card is telling me that you're realizing you're being, you finally realize and being true to yourself that I'm not happy where I'm at. Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy, I'm not happy where I'm at. In life, in a situation, in a connection, I'm not happy there, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. I'm ready to be free. But the thing about it, you're just confused and worried because you don't know which way to go. Okay? And in order to get that, you're going to have to clear your energy. Okay? You're definitely going to have to clear your energy and you're going to have to, so that... And, and also, Spirit, okay, Spirit Guys is telling me, uh, before you start to manifest and before you start to pray in light, go to the light, okay? God, whoever your higher source is, this is, this is the most important step of it all. Don't, don't jump this step to get to this step, okay? Don't jump this step to get to this step. You have to have your energy clear in order for your manifestation to come and for your manifestation and the light for you to get hear the light and 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 um know which direction to go in okay so you definitely want your freedom you're definitely ready you you just don't know which way you want to go okay and at the bottom of this deck it says happiness you definitely know you want to go towards your happiness creating your own happiness this card says so it's a lot of happiness and freedom i feel like that you're ready to you're ready to explore. You're ready to live your life. You're ready for something new because where you at is like you don't, you, you're not getting, you, you're just not happy. Okay. And it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So just by you thinking and wanting something, you, you want it to be happy. That means that, you know, you want to be on that. You're on the right path because you were ready to change your life. You're ready to do something different. You're tired of the same old way, same old way. And you have love at the top of the day. Okay. And it says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. All right. Um, spirit guys is, 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 um, is coming to me where with the death card I see here, um, this ending that you, you, you confused and you worried about this ending is only remember a ending is a merely a, a very fresh start of a new beginning. Okay. So you just, you just don't know which direction to go. And in order to get that answer, Aries, you have to make sure your energy is clear and so that you can get clear messages within your inner self with spirit guys uh, send, sending you messages, okay? So what we have here, I got three cards here. Okay, the first card is surrender. It's time, sweetheart. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready to surrender. Oh, my goodness, this card right here just really hits me. It hits my spirit. You are ready to look at you. Look at yourself. You are ready to be free. You are ready to, to live. You're ready for your happiness. You know, you're just ready for all of whatever, the weight that you've been carrying. You're ready for it to just, you're ready for a new start. And you got gratitude is here, okay? You're very grateful and thankful for what you have. You said, I, I don't take it lightly, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. But I'm just ready to go towards my own happiness. I'm ready to go towards my own destiny, creating creating my reality, manifesting the very things I want in my life, okay? And the next card is intuition. 
<clears throat> this intuition card is being in tune with yourself, your higher self, believing in what you feel, okay? That navigation system, that gut feeling that that's going to lead you, that's going to guide you on your path of this new direction. That's why it's important for you to clear your energy so that you will get a very clear map of which way you should go in on your path, okay? This could be literally you're ready to move either north, south, east, east or west. You're just ready to move. You just don't know where you want to move to. This can be the direction of getting out of someone's energy that you're not happy with. Or this can be a job that you're no longer happy with. I don't I don't know your life, so this can mean a lot of different things for a lot of y'all, okay? But your intuition, you know, in order for you to get that message, okay? You surrender. You said, I need... This, I, I, Spirit Guys is taking me back to this card again. You see, I want you to just pause the video and just look at this card. Look how, look how refreshed. Look how she just feels so lightweight, so free, so, you know, from holding so much burden and weight down on you. And then when you get in that water of peace, that water of joy, that water of, you know, your, your sound mind, your sanity... Look at that, will you? This is also Spirit Guys that says some of you just need to get in the pool. Get in your swimming pool. Go swim and just go to a lake, whatever it is, and just let that water that is healing, that's healing your body, that's removing negative energy, and just put in your mind, you know, to clear all negative energy, like this card say. You said, I, you know. It correlates with this card as well. Clear your energy. Just get in deep thought, deep meditation, and just just hold your head back. You could be in your shower. It don't mean a pool or whatever. It could be in your shower. It could be in your just just hold your head back and just allow and think in your mind of clear negative energy. And see how lightweight you're going to feel. I don't know who needed to hear this today. But this is very important in order for you to get to this step here of manifesting which way it is that you want to go, the direction you want to go in. But your intuition, you will become very clear once you clear your energy. Your intuition is going to tell you everything, baby. Let me tell you something. I listen to my intuition, okay? I, I can't, I, you know, I can't do, I, I can't, I just can't do it without it, you know? So a lot of freedom here. A lot of love here, gratitude, grateful, honest, being true to yourself. You don't care about, you know, you don't expect no one else to be true to you, but you're being very true and very real to yourself. Honesty. Honesty is the key. You understand me? So this is actually a beautiful, refreshing reading, okay? Very beautiful, very refreshing reading. Okay, you want your happiness, you want your freedom. <laughs> Excuse me, that's what you're surrendering to. You're surrendering to your peace, to your sound mind. Do y'all understand when you sit by yourself and you just hear nothing? <laughs> People, th that's a sound mind. You just, you just laying there in your silence. That's called peace. And I feel like a lot of you are ready for your peace. You're ready to go in a new direction. You're ready to head. You're manifesting some other, some beautiful things in your life. And you're surrendering. Mmm. I love that. I love that. I love that, Aries. I don't know about y'all, but I need you to put a yalla heart in the comment. Okay? Spirit led yalla on my heart. And that is like, that could mean a lot of different things, the yalla heart. It can be the, it could be the sunshine. It can be just just happiness it can be you know calmness yeah that part right there yeah so it says be fearless as well be fearless okay and it's and that goes with this card here courage aries it says i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence be fearless exactly I feel like you're very fearless. Only thing is that you are confused and worried about which direction to go. Whatever this situation is that has you very, very worried about. 
Uh, and I'm going to set that card there. Because this card is really touching a lot of you beautiful women out here. That's watching me right now. You're just surrendering. You want to be free. Free from whatever this is that has had you worried and confused. You're ready to be free. You're ready to live. You, I feel like some of you may have just have been. You just haven't been living your life. You just been existing. You've been doing the same routine. Go to work. Come home. Sit down. Uh, you know. Read. You know. Don't go nowhere. Don't live your life. Now I feel like you're ready to be free. And like I told the uh, other son, I just want to be free, free. I just want to be free, yeah, yeah, free, free. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. It's going to be all right, baby. You deserve your happiness. You deserve freedom. You deserve to live your life. Stop existing and start living. That's what it's all about. That's all. That's what it's all about beautiful Aries. I just want to be free, yeah, yeah, free, free, yeah. <laughs> New beginnings, baby, at the bottom of the deck. New beginnings, new intimacy, new things, shower of love. This is the divine is about to overrun your cup, okay? I just want to be free, yeah, yeah. Spirit, God's divine universe. What's in the reading? What's in the reading for my beautiful Aries? What's in the reading? Mm -hmm. Someone you're not in communication with. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. You're not in communication with somebody. Okay? You have stopped communication. Um, it's like you don't care anymore. You don't care about this, this connection or whatever this situation that, you know, I don't know your life. You... Uh, you gonna you know you're gonna have to reverse the roles how they fit in your life. But you definitely this can be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? That you are you have no communication. It's like you don't care anymore about this person, but you're definitely worried. I feel like with this card at the bottom of the deck, yeah, with the Queen of Cups in the reverse tells me that you don't care. You you really don't care about this person, you you're tired. Okay, you're tired of this situation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like I was telling you before. And it has you up, worried, trying to figure out which direction to go. I'm seeing, I, I'm really picking up on the energy that some of you are ready to leave a relationship. You're ready to leave some type of situationship, a marriage. If you're not married, you, you're living under the same household, okay? But you're ready, it's like you're ready, you're ready for your freedom. Free! I just want to be free, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely up at night. You can't take it no more. You, you know, yeah, you sowed a lot of seeds into this. You've done a lot of work in this situation, and you're just tired. You just want to be free, yeah, yeah. You just want to be free. You want your freedom now. It's, it's not even worth it anymore. You just want to be free. From this situation. Spirit guys, tell me more for Aries. Tell me more for Aries. Thank you. Yeah, you're dealing with someone very immature. Okay. This can be someone that you're dealing with a situationship. That means that, you know, it's all about just the sex or this person. Could be younger than you or you younger than this person. And um, you're tired. I feel like you're tired of this situation. Like I said, this can be someone that you just, you know, this is just someone that you, it's, it's all about this right here. The beef jerky and the peaches, okay? And you're tired. You just want to be free from this. I feel like you've been in this type of energy uh, for, for some years, okay? Um, for probably at least one to seven years, you've been you've been having this side, side chick, side man, or just this situationship 
and you want to be free from it. You want you want to create your own happiness. You want someone that's going to fully love you, that's going to fully embrace you, not just part of you, not just part of your body, not just, you know, you want someone that's going to be uh, invested in you. And I feel like that's what you want to be free from. Yeah. Yeah. You're recovering. Uh, you've been through a lot of pain. Okay. A lot of pain here. A lot of pain in this situation that you that you're not you're not talking to this person, but spirit guides is about to bring in you an overflow of cup of love towards you. Yeah, the spirit guides are saying, listen to your intuition. I feel like you're trying to manifest new love in your life, new beginning in your life. Someone that, like I said before, that's going to invest in you. That's what you're trying to create. But you just don't know how to go about it, which direction to go towards. You just want to be free. And I got the, got the single card at the bottom of the deck. I just want to be free. Yeah, yeah. Free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be free. There's no passion, no love, no more. You just, you just ready to no stability. You just ready to get out of this, and it feel like you're stuck with the six of cups in the reverse. You could be stuck right now in your head, and you're worrying. You're stuck with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be an Earth sign that you're all in your head, but definitely a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're worried all in your head. A rigid way. You're ready to cut this off. You said you. It just spirit just point blank said you're ready to cut this situationship off you know but you know it's going to be a fight you know it's going to be an argument about it okay but you're ready for a new beginning you read it out with the old in with the new you ready for a new chapter of your life you just want to be free you want to be happy you want someone to fully invest in you not partially or partly invest in you just with the sex you've been going through the motions with this situation for a lot of years and now it's like i'm tired i want my freedom i'm ready uh, i'm ready to see what else is out there because i feel like when you are in situationships like you the other woman the other man and or you just been going with the flow uh, because it, it was comfortable with just being sex just being you know just that uh, uh, friends with benefits or whatever the situation or whatever the case may be. And then after a while, after, you know, some years, cause it looked like you've been probably dealing with, you've been dealing with this person for quite some time, one to eight years. Okay. If not longer. And it's like, what, what am I getting out of this? And it's like, and you like, I, it's time for a new change. It's time for, it's time for a new direction. I want I want to be free. I want to create my own happiness. And that's what you're manifesting. And you've been going to the light. And you've been really. It's like you done. It, it's like you have had. You have like a light bulb have came on. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, y'all. Something in my teeth. It's like a light bulb have come on. And it's almost like you have been in a trance for years. And allowing this situation to be like it is. And it's like your light. It's like your, you know, your light bulb don't come on. You said, I'm ready to create my own happiness. I want love for myself. I want someone to genuine love me. Yeah, you got Hierophant in the reverse. I feel like some of you have been stuck in a marriage because of your traditional way. Because of what your parents and what this, this, that you, they say you're supposed to put up with what you put up with. And I feel like some of you are coming out of that. You're breaking that that tradition. It's like, I'm not going to be in something that I am not happy in. So with the Hierophant in reverse, I intuitively see that some of you may be separated, getting ready to get a divorce, or you're thinking about being getting separated, or you really, you really tired of the traditional way about, uh, doing things uh if you're married that you're supposed to stick in it for the long haul and you're, you're tired of it any other message for aries and so you're surrendering you're surrendering yeah you're surrendering you're waiting on you, you it's something else out there for me miss pause and thoughts and energy and it is and it is it is something else out there for you and it is you have the, the ace of pentacles and it is it is someone out there that's going to fully invest in you okay and this is the divine saying it is it's here 
it's here. When you make that decision to walk through this gate right here, divine said, I got some investments for you. Whether you walking out that door from a job or you're leaving this situation ship on the other side is this ace of pentacles, baby. There are some large blessings. There are some big investments for you and you realize that it is something else that's out here better for me this is not it miss pause and pause of energy this is not it this is not it yeah okay so spirit guys any other message for my beautiful aries yep you're ready to you're ready for something true you're ready to stand on your own Ten, on ten toes, your own feet, and you're ready for something new, something true to come into your life. Someone that wants, yeah, you're moving forward. You're definitely moving forward, Aries. I just want to be free, yeah, yeah, free. Yeah, you waiting on a king. Yep, there it is. You see that right there? Six of swords, people, and you're moving away from a very toxic situation. You've over you've overthought it enough, and you're moving away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're definitely ready to release this person. I feel like this person has an obsession, and you're not happy with this person, and that puts you at a crossroad because this person has nothing to offer you, which tells me this person could have some type of addiction. I don't know your life, but whoever you're dealing with, you're tired of going through this with this person. Like I said, for some of you, it could be a marriage. For some of you, it can be a you know situation. You you know. I feel like you also regret that you wasted a lot of your life, a lot of your time in life, okay? And you're ready to be free. You, you're tired of it. You're ready to be free. You're ready for your happiness. It's just that you're worried. You don't know which way, which way. Just listen to your intuition. Clear your energy before you do anything else, okay? I need you to clear your energy and um, so that your manifestation can come in, okay? And it's all about your happiness. It's all about what makes you happy. How you feel. What makes, you know, you how you feel. Okay? It's about your happiness. I am positive thoughts and energy. When you clear your energy, your intuition, that right there, is going to tell you everything. I am positive thoughts and energy, Aries. Yeah, feel the, feel the energy of being surrendered, this surrender. Surrender to yourself because you deserve nothing but peace, love, and happiness and abundance in your life. You just got to make sure that you're listening to your inner voice. What is it telling you? Until next time, Aries.